So charger battery, so my laptop battery died and my cell phone battery died. So I wasn't able to record everything that I finished doing. But uh, the water pump is put together. Not the water pump, bro. Um, the thermostat housing was put together. It's now finished. It's not mounted to the cylinder head because I think I should put the intake on first before I do that. Um, I test fitted the valve cover on. And as you can see here, you have two marks, one here and one here. And the issue that I ran into is on ARP head studs for the M30 B35 engines, they stick up a little taller than factory uh, head bolts do. So therefore, it you can't fully flatten down the... You can't meet the, the mating surface on the valve cover and the cylinder head completely flat because the head studs bump into this diaphragm right here. So I have three of these. So I took one of the other ones and popped this diaphragm off and placed it on and it's almost flat. The other issue that you run into is, I believe this is, oh, right here. In the front of the timing cover, the head bolts, sorry, the head studs also grind against this, these two right here. So right now I'm going to drill a hole around the size that these, um, that you can see, I took some RTV just to see how big the hole should be. And that's how big it is. I may make it a little bigger so it sits a little further down, but um, we're gonna drill these two holes. And then I have a Dremel somewhere. And then all I'm gonna do is just file this down a little bit to make it a little flatter. And then I should have clearance for all the other um, head studs. All right, so if this is as big as it can go before this starts actually going into the top of the valve cover. So I'm gonna take this back to storage, test fit it. Um, maybe get a file instead to file that down. Um, but we're gonna test fit this today. And also, uh, what I'm going to start doing, because I feel like I've been like real unorganized with how I've been going, is just writing down what I plan to do before I do it. So when I record these videos, it's easier for me to follow along what I'm doing. So first, accelerator bracket to the intake. Um, grommets to the intake, going to Harbor Freight to get those. I'm going to measure the remaining bolts. I just drilled the holes in the valve cover, so I'm going to cross that up. Um, there's two bolts on the upper timing cover that I did not tighten yet because I couldn't get clearance on the wrenches and sockets I had, which is weird because I was able to take it off. Um, we're gonna remove the remaining intake and exhaust studs and then we're gonna torque the oil pan bolts. And that's it. I'm going to Denver this week, so I can't work on the car. So probably Thursday, I'll order the parts, have them delivered to me sometime next week and then we'll make another list to get stuff done. All right, fortunately, when I go to pick and pull and there's an M30, I just take the valve cover. It's like 10 bucks at pick and pull. So I get them. I have these two here and that one here. That one's going on the engine itself. This one has the diaphragm taken out and this one doesn't. I just want to demonstrate the issue that I was running into. So when I put this on, you can kind of see right here. You see it, oh, let me zoom out. You see it's not sitting flat, right? So if we take this one off, and we put the one that has the diaphragm taken out. Hold on. You can see now it's now flat, right? To the most part. But then we have this front portion that's also not sitting flat. And I'll show you that on this one, you can kind of see right there on both sides that's where the head stud is hitting it. So what I gotta do is file down the edge on these two, and then it should sit flat. And then those holes are drilled, we're gonna blow the, the shrapnel out of there and then test fit it. Little tech tip, if you need to clean out the head bolt holes, um, you can get jumbo, I got 16 inch in my case, Q-tips, I go in there, swab it around, it soaks up the oil. And that's so when you put the new head bolts in, you don't get misread torque readings because you have 
fluid still inside the threads. And here's an example of what happens if you don't clean that. That was all still inside um, some of the head bolts.